Hi everyone, Morgan here. My I just took a shower and I was thinking about um, some of the Jackson, you know, what's going on with Jackson and just, you know, there's a bunch of water crises going on right now, you know, and so I wanted to tell you three easy ways that you could start stocking up on water now, regardless of the space that you have that are easy, fairly cheap, or like oh, basically free, not free, but fairly cheap, okay? Some of these things you may have to acquire, but anyway, here we go. The first one is gonna be freezing water. Whenever you use a water bottle, a juice bottle, soda bottle, make sure you clean them out. Clean them out really good inside and out with soap and water and then refill it with tap water or any other clean water. And then just throw it right there in your freezer. Shut it, shut it, shut it. Okay, if you're anything like me, your freezers are usually very full, <laughs> but I do still try to make sure that we are freezing water because it's a really good effective way to freeze water. Plus when you freeze water, if your freezer were to ever turn off, you know, because of no electricity or just turn off just because it's faulty or whatever, all those frozen bottles of water will help keep everything else cooler inside for longer. You can fill up jugs like this of water, but I, it would not be consumable water. It would be something like for gray water, for cleaning dishes or laundry or something like that. So you can refill those, these kinds of things um, if you want, but only for gray water. The next one is really simple, buy bottles of water. Bottles of water are, are super simple to come by. They are fairly inexpensive. You can get them at, you know, places like Costco or, you know, a dollar from, you know, Walmart or whatever. And you could also refill these at any time, right? Um, just make sure that whatever you do, whenever you are refilling, you're always cleaning with soap and water. But um, water, bottles of water will last many years if kept out of direct sunlight, kept in cool, dark places. Even if you keep them in warm places, as long as it's kept out of direct sunlight, they could be good for a couple years. Uh, but just rotate your water often. You can also fill pretty much any like container with water, like five gallon buckets or, you know, the water containers that you might get from Walmart. I'm showing some pictures here. Any of these containers. First, you wash the container. Then you're going to put the, the water in, the clean water in. And then you can put a little bit of bleach, depending on how big it is and uh, the, the chart that I have down below and then put the bleach in and then you're gonna um, seal it up. So when you open it, you know, in a year or so, you can rotate it and, you know, use it for your garden or, or whatever else. So any container, almost any container you can use as long as, you know, it's kept out away from debris and it's clean water going in and you do have lots of water purification like um, I've talked about before. The last is rainwater. So not a lot of people collect rainwater. This is just like containers that I have outside that we're just collecting rainwater. I don't have like an official system yet, but this is enough to like water some of my garden, you know, like it's layers of your water um, storage. You know, it's not everything is consumable. It's maybe this is just for my garden, but I can make this consumable by, I can um, filter and boil and then filter again. I, you know, I can uh, put drop tablets in it. Um, I can put it through my Berkey, you know, filter, then put it through my Berkey. I can do a lot of things to, um, to purify this water in order to make it drinkable or consumable, you know, using uh, for food, you know, cooking food or, or whatever. But you could also just use it for bathing or cleaning dishes. You know, you may want to sanitize it uh, for those, kind of, those kinds of things. Of course, having a legit rainwater collection system. I have a ton of videos about rainwater collection, but you don't have to get fancy all the time. You can just literally collect the rainwater in anything, buckets, you know, bowls, whatever. And trust me, no matter where you live, you can collect rain. Even in the low desert, it does rain. Not as often, but especially during monsoon season, you can collect a lot of water during that time. And then like high desert areas and things you can collect, you know, it does rain a little bit more often. But uh, so collect rainwater as much as you possibly can throughout the year. So those are the top three really easy, fairly cheap, inexpensive ways uh, to uh, start storing water today. Um, and, uh, you know, I can talk, I've talked about hauling water and all this other stuff before, but these are really easy ways to start stocking up your water, put them under your bed, put them on shelves, put them everywhere, stack them in your closets, just put water everywhere. Water is a resource that we do not ever want to waste, right? And we want plenty of it because we use a lot of it. And don't forget, if you have a water heater, that is however many gallons of water full of 
water ready to be used. All you have to do is drain it. And I have a video right here showing you how to do that. And if you happen to have a pool, that's also another resource for water. Just make sure that you're, you know, sanitizing it first before you drink it. Okay, that's it. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Just some friendly reminders about water. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.